Greetings, friends. It's me, Wayman, and I'm an agnostic, and I come on to refute uh, the ideas in the video LCF minifilm, Is God Just? And I would say that he is not just. And uh, the commentator on the video goes through a series of things on where justice does not come from, and he discusses atheism and laws of nature. However, he forgets to discuss virtue. Virtue is the highest form of justice and the highest form of any kind of uh, law code. And even both men and gods, according to Plato, uh, would be held accountable to these. Because how would we know if God was a just God or an unjust God if it were not for virtue? And one of the things if uh, you want to um, get this straight on what Socrates says about this, and it's an excellent, excellent dialogue on this topic for those who would like to review everything in this video, uh, pretty much, is uh, Gorgias, the uh, Dialogue of Gorgias by Plato. In here, Socrates discusses uh, just and unjust, and he says that it's much better to suffer injustice than to commit injustice. So we can use this by real seeing if for real God is just or unjust because no God, if he is a just God and embodies the highest forms of virtues, uh, would commit injustice. But yet he did. Where is this found? In Job, friends. Job was just and suffered injustice at the hands of injustice. And who committed that injustice? The divine committed that injustice. So, God still needs to repent to Job. You say, wait a minute, what do you mean? Why would God still need to repent to Job? Because, friends, rhetoric does not get you off from committing an unjust act. The divine and anybody who commits an unjust act uh, should be punished for it. And let's read what Socrates has to say about it. Because that's what happened in Job. Job wanted, he was, he was telling the divine that he was just. He wanted to put God on trial, but he knew he couldn't because he was God. And he knew that God could do anything he wanted to. So God comes out with this big rhetorical speech on where were you, Job? You know, just be quiet and do what you're told. But that's not good enough. So this is what Socrates has to say about it. To Polis. In the um, text, and I'll put it in the link, uh, Gorgias. Then rhetoric is of no use to us, Polis, in helping a man to excuse his own injustice that of his parents or friends or country or children, but may be of use to anyone who holds that instead of excusing, he ought to accuse himself above all. And in that next degree, his family or any of his friends who may be doing wrong, he should bring to light the iniquity and not conceal it, so that the wrongdoer may suffer and be made whole. And he should even force himself and others to shrink but with closed eyes, like a brave man, to let the physician operate with knife or searing iron, not regarding the pain. In the hope of attaining the good and the honorable, let him who has done things worthy of stripes allow himself to be scourged, if of bonds, to be bound, if of fine, to be fined, if of exile, to be exiled, if of death, to die, himself being the first to accuse himself and his relations, and using rhetoric to this end, that his and their unjust actions may be made manifest, and that they themselves may be delivered from injustice, which is the greatest of evil. Beautiful. So, Paul was the one who said that you could get out of uh, punishment by accepting Christ as your personal savior. Socrates did not think so. Virtue did not think so. If you commit injustice or acts of vice, you should be punished as a learning for that. 
and that cancer should be cut out of you. And so we have in New Testament ideas, Jesus was Jewish. This was before the religion of Jesus became a religion about Jesus. Jesus taught the Beatitudes, which was, it is better, as Socrates says here, to suffer injustice than to do injustice. Blessed are the meek and the poor and all that. And also, when Jesus says, cut off your right hand if it offends you, that's what he's talking about. Cutting off that vice or that injustice or that uh, thing that would keep you from pursuing the moral law of virtue and obtaining the highest forms of virtue, which hold both gods and men accountable. So take care, friends, and remember to do justice and love mercy. Be well, and remember, if everybody's thinking alike, then somebody isn't thinking.